I am a guy who's hopeful and tells happy stories. The heroes I play do good things. They give hope and happiness. If I play a bad guy, I make sure he suffers a lot. He dies a dog's death. If you ask anyone, irrespective of their favorites or their bias, who has the most successful and impactful 2023 in the Indian film industry, everyone will unanimously say Shah Rukh Khan. When the chips were down, when everyone considered him to be finished and a has-been, he rose like a phoenix, one that we hoped and prayed for years ago. So it wasn't that much of a surprise when CNN and IBN conducted its Indian of the Year awards that Shah Rukh Khan was going to be the recipient of the main award. While the ceremony was advertised precisely on the basis that SRK might be coming to the event, one was skeptical whether it's actually going to materialize or not. But his appearance has generated quite the stir on social media. Whether it was intentional, unintentional, what SRK focused on and why it has created such drama, let's pack in exactly what happened. So deservedly so, I think Anirudh Ravi Chandar was also bestowed with an award for his contribution to music last year. Even though people like me were fearful of Anirudh's saturation and just the volume of work he was doing, it's safe to say that his impact was unquestionable, having done stellar work in Jailer, Jawan and Leo. The controlled setup was abundantly clear, looking at the limited guest list and the size of the banquet in which the show was being conducted. I thought it was really benevolent of SRK to spend time with the rat miners of Uttarkashi on stage upon their request and spend ample time taking selfies. One of the most wholesome interactions were actually between Shah Rukh Khan and Mani Ratnam when he received the Indian of the Year award. SRK playfully telling Mani Ratnam that he is willing to do chaya chaya on top of a plane too if he wanted. The back and forth between the director and actor really makes me manifest a collaboration between the two. Mani sir, when are you going to cast Shah Rukh Khan? When I buy a plane. <laughs> Mani, let me just tell you the way my films are going. <laughs> this, this plane is not far away, huh? Even though the rumor mills are floating around regarding the collaboration between Vishal Bhardwaj and Shah Rukh Khan, this would actually be the collaboration I would love to see. This also begs the question, who do you think SRK should collaborate with in the future? Let me know in the comments below. Something that can be exciting, unique and not an extension of what we have already seen. I think him combining forces with someone like Lokesh Kanagraj or someone like Sriram Raghavan would genuinely be so exciting. Uh, Mid-edit uh, integration, Raj and DK. Raj and DK. I would love to know your thoughts on the best collaborations in the future. What I love about Shah Rukh and his acceptance speech is that he acknowledges what a movement movies like Pathan and Jawan created. More than just the audience being excited for a no-holds-barred action film, it was the unanimous love that people have for him that really motivated audiences to come in huge numbers to theatres to wholeheartedly celebrate his return. People calling me from all over the world and said, you know, we wanted to come out for Pathan, we wanted to come out for Jawan, and just be supportive of what you do as an actor and as, um, as a person, as a father, as a family man, as whatever. So I know this is way beyond uh, the goodness of the films. This also cementing in stone that the millions of people don't want him to go anywhere and actually keep entertaining us on the big screen. It is actually a reiteration of the fact that I belong and I should continue to act. What I love regarding the speech is that Shah Rukh Khan did not make the success of 2023 about himself, openly acknowledging and thanking the creators that helped in creating those spectacles for him. It really does take an army to create the pan-Indian success that Pathan and Jawan were, and I love that he made it about the creators who were willing to lay their bets on his return last year. More importantly, I think what created this movement in support of Shah Rukh Khan was also due to the silent war he endured during this tumultuous time something that he reflected upon and how he really believes that his family deserves an applause for withstanding every obstacle that were flung their way. Those who watch the channel know the venom that was spread just a year ago against Shah Rukh Khan and his family. Just the daily dose of anger and frustration and mobs in media were frothing in the mouth to see one's downfall. We were all witness to it. And even though the cycle of the news these days is very fast and we tend to forget even faster, I know avid viewers of Hindi cinema will never forget the witch hunt that that easily could have broken the strongest. So the victory is even more sweet. And I truly believe that the last four or five years that my family has seen, my children has seen, my wife has seen, Gauri, I think nobody <coughs> deserves a bigger cheer right now 
than them. What has actually created the most chatter from the event is Shah Rukh Khan's speech where he speaks about the characters he plays. I am a guy who's hopeful and tells happy stories. The heroes I play do good things. They give hope and happiness. If I play a bad guy, I make sure he suffers a lot. He dies a dog's death. This assessment in the current environment is an interesting take, but a polarizing one indeed, as it seemed to be a direct dig at animal and the lack of suffering the character endured despite carrying out such awful deeds. See, we have in great lengths talked about Ranvijay and whether he suffered enough or not. Is his dad dying and his wife and kids leaving him not enough? But the real question is, is this a pot shot at Animal or SRK was just trying to make a point of his personal choices in his career? See, if you look at movies like Bazigar, Dar, Anjam and Rais, the ultimate fate of the character is death. So in that regard, one does accept SRK's statement today. But the same argument becomes wayward regarding the portrayal of Dawn, a role that SRK is celebrated for, a criminal essentially who does very bad things and always gets away with all the crimes by the end of both the films. So is this a new SRK who will only do morally uplifting characters? Because the SRK from the 90s who did the morally grey and wide range of characters on either side of the spectrum had a different outlook regarding movies and their impact. It's an entertainment. I take these films like this. Many times you watch films, I think that you copy a fashion copy, then it goes. But how many of us are intelligent, normal, normal intelligence people who watch films and watch their own life in that style develop karte. It's important also to acknowledge that one can have an evolution of thought of what they once felt, so it might be totally relevant that SRK has changed his stance of what he thought about two decades ago. I mean, come on, we changed from what we were 20 years ago. On the flip side, it's interesting also because it might also showcase the trappings of star power. With more the fan following and more the expectations, actors are expected to toe the line of the kind of characters they can play. Something that stars like Vijay in Tamil cinema or Mahesh Babu in Telugu cinema also have to endure. It's a very polarizing debate because I think the job of actors is essentially to play anything that creatively stimulates them, even if it means characters whose moral fibre is the antithesis of your real-life personality. It's, it's, uh, it's something that you should avoid as an actor because uh, as an actor, it's your, it's your job to perform whatever that enchants you as an actor. A filmmaker can have it, a scriptwriter can have it, an actor should not because uh, the actor is, uh, is basically working on on a white sheet of paper and he wants that white sheet of paper for the audience first so that he can draw his 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 uh, character the moment that that sheet of paper is colored because of some reason of your activism then you would not succeed in making a character but people will see you with that bias. I get the point that SRK was trying to make on the clarity that should exist on the ultimate fate of bad characters, that they should endure a dog's death eventually. So is there a possibility that we can see a dark SRK on the big screen in the future? I hope so. Needless to say, the sentiment, just because of the sheer impact and box office numbers of Animal, has caused quite the drama on social media. And that was the video guys. I wanted to know your thoughts regarding SRK's speech and the ultimate fate of characters in fictional stories. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. The handle's right in front of you. Follow me at jammypants4. Also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead. Thank you for watching.